Hello, my name is Eric, a member of the support team here at Prototech. In this video, we're going to take a look at updating to Mastercam 2026. First, you're going to want to go to mastercam.com and log in. You can enter your email address. If you've forgotten your password, you can choose Forgot Your Password, or you can create an account. Once logged in, it'll bring you to this page. There's a large red Download Now button right in the middle of the screen. Click this and you can download Mastercam 2026. Once downloaded, you can go to your Downloads folder or wherever you downloaded it to and double click on the Mastercam 2026 Web EXE. If asked, you may have to select Yes. You get a few choices. We're going to want to choose to just install Mastercam, the top option. Select English. Hit the next button. You can configure your Mastercam. If you want to run in metric, you can adjust that. You can enter a name. We do not recommend changing the shared or destination folder. Even if you're going to do shared on the network, you leave that alone and deal with that later. Then you can hit the next button and accept the license agreement. Mastercam will start installing. You may be prompted for a reboot. And choose yes and then you can launch Mastercam for the first time. Now I'm going to launch Mastercam for the first time. The first time you launch Mastercam, it will take a little bit longer to start up. It actually finishes the installation. There's some folders and registry keys that get built during the first time you launch. We'll accept the end user license agreement and continue. The first time you launch, you'll be prompted. If you want to join the customer feedback program, you can choose to join or not join. Mastercam 2026 is now installed, but we need to get all of our important posts and libraries from previous version of Mastercam into the new version. They cannot just be copied. They need to be migrated. To run the migration, I go to File, Convert, Migration Wizard. I'm going to choose Advanced. Now the paths will automatically be there if a previous version of Mastercam is installed. It'll go to the last newest install. If you're copying from a, to a new PC and converting to a new version, you'll need to hit the browse button and find where you copied that, my, that shared folder over from the old PC. If this is all happening on the same PC and you want to update from the last version, the paths should already be there. Once again, we're going to leave the destination folder alone. You can migrate everything at once, but I suggest clicking on file types and just migrating the post files over. Everybody use posts. They're probably one of the more important library files in your Mastercam. If there are any errors, it's easier to pick out what's going on if you just do the post separate. For the post, I'm going to do control definitions, machine definitions, machine simulation. If you purchased machine simulation with a post, if you have any mill turn add on and environments, you'll want to check that. If you have the wire product and the power libraries, you'll want to check that option. Post files. If you're uncertain what a file is, you can click on that type and it'll give a brief description below. Also, if you're uncertain which files to check, it doesn't hurt to check more. You also want to select miscellaneous data files if you have licensed posts. This will migrate the license. You can hit next. You can migrate from all versions. I'm just going to migrate from 2025. If I do this, if I accidentally have any 24 or 23 files in these folders, they could get doubled up. This will clean it up a little bit. If uncertain, leave them all checked. You can then hit next. This just gives a brief overview of what's happening. Hit finish to start the migration of your posts. 
Once completed, you can choose to view the results. One thing I'd like to point out here is that there are always files skipped. If files haven't changed since install, they will not be migrated, they will be skipped. So this is normal. What we're looking for here is if there's any kind of yellow flags or it says errors, we may want to dig into that further. Everything looks good in this report. Now I'm a machine tap, I can go to mill, manage list, or whatever product or posts I migrated. My posts should now be migrated and ready for use. I will want to test these out. An easy way to test these is take a job already programmed in a previous version of Mastercam that you have the code for, open it up, post it again in the new version, and compare the two outputs, make sure everything looks great. You may also want to wait on managing your list. If you plan on setting up a network share, they will need to be managed again to the new network copy of the post. Now let's run the migration again to migrate our other files, such as libraries, config files. I'm going to choose advanced again. This time, I'm going to select files again to deselect them all. And I'm going to select the files I use. I usually skip part files. They can be migrated, but there's often a lot of these files that can be in folders other than your default installation folders, and it can take a long time to migrate. These files don't need to be migrated because I can open up the part files, the MCAM files, back many versions, all the way back to V8. Some commonly used files are operation libraries. Those are like import export files. Your default files, those are you know, where comp, control comp, uh, linking parameters, tool libraries, any feeds and speeds and tools you've built. Config files. I don't suggest updating these every year as there can be a lot of changes in the config, but you can update it for a few years. After that, I suggest maybe skipping it and just opening it up, say 25 and 26 at the same time and kind of going through the pages, checking the settings you want, matching them up. And once again, remember you can always click on the file type too to get a brief description at the bottom of what it is. And if you're uncertain, just check them all. Maybe minus the post files if you did them separate so you don't double up backups on those. The workspace files, that's if you customized your interface at all. Those are probably the more common files to migrate. I'm going to hit next. Same as before, if uncertain, you can check them all. I'm only going to migrate from 25. I'll hit next again. I'll get an overview and then I'll hit finish to start the migration. You may get prompted for an existing file. This will happen if you're trying to update a file and the file already exists. The safest thing to do is choose backup the original file in the destination folder and update. This will create a backup file and the file will be migrated. If you know that you need this file, you can choose to just update it and replace. If you know that you don't need the file, you could choose to do not update the file. Once you make a selection, the migration will continue. Once again, I can choose to view the results. This will look very much like before. I'll be looking for errors. Files skipped are fine. And this completes my migration process. Mastercam 2026 should now be ready to run. We hope you like this video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.